That's where we find ENCA's Lester Kivett, who is following this story for us. Lester, good morning to you. Uh, talk to us about those schools, more importantly. Are they shut, and uh, for how long is this going to go on for? That's right, Koli. Uh, a relative calm, but there's a, an unease that is simmering underneath here or just beneath here in Khaleshi, where, as you said, still many schools still closed here in the area. I have seen some school children walking towards schools, uh, but uh, driving past uh, several primary schools, high schools here, it uh, does seem as if there will be no learning happening here in Khalashiwe here uh, this, uh, this morning. After overnight, more barricades being set up here in roads leading here into the township, all to do uh, with uh, the, uh, the future of uh, Sol Plaiki Mayor uh, Mangolisu Matika here, who refuses uh, to leave uh, the mayoral uh, seat this after a motion of no confidence was passed in him. He is now uh, attending the, uh, uh, the uh, Northern Cape High Court where they'll try to interdict his removal and overturn that council decision to discuss some of the issues happening here in Kalashiwe. Tonight is uh, uh, Tumelo Mosikari, he's a community representative. Uh, Tumelo calm this morning, but there does seem to be a, a tension here and there. We already see some smoke billowing here behind some of the houses here. What is currently happening here? Uh, we have a dictator. Thank you. Good morning and thank you for coming to Kimberley because we've been appealing to the president to come to Kimberley. Hopefully he will see this and, and intervene because we have a dictator in the city that has decided this is his city. is not going anywhere. Even when the people are saying they don't want him. It's unfortunate that now the kids are suffering. It's unfortunate that the businesses are further suffering because this has been since the 27th of June. You should understand that people are going to lose their jobs and it's all because of people that want to protect corruption. We are concerned now. We are at the circle. There's no police officers. They've been here for the past month uh, uh, standing at the circle. They're not there. We, we, we're thinking they're going to try something again because yesterday they tried to burn the, the, the public library in Khalishewa and we stopped it. They're sending people to, to cause chaos in the community so that they can point fingers and say the community is irresponsible. We are peaceful people. If right now at the High Court the ruling is made that Matika should leave the office so that uh, uh, Kimberley can come back to Kimberley so that we can have a better city again, then everything stops. People clear the roads themselves. We will clear the roads ourselves. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure that the kids go back to school tomorrow morning, early in the, mo in the morning. There's classes that will be set up also for the, for the learners to learn during, during the weekends because they've lost a lot of time. But we are in a democratic country and city. Right now there's a dictator sitting at the civic, sitting at the high court who's saying he's not going anywhere and he's been protected by people we've elected, people we've asked to represent the community to make sure that they, they, they work for the better good of the community but they, they are choosing the side of corruption. Uh, to me, it seems as if this is a community divided. I've spoken to people like you who say that they will not stop protesting until Maya Matika steps down. But at the same time, I've spoken to people say they're worried about the children not going to school. They're worried that they're not even allowed to get bread deliveries to come to some of the spaza shops here so that people can eat. Many people can't go to work because there's no taxes. They can't get through. Surely this is something that the community, uh, that community representatives like you are also considering. You should consider that on Sunday we went and had the meeting with the community and one of the things that we said, uh, uh, thinking as leaders that the, the, going this route of closing the roads will be further uh, causing suffering. We want the schools to remain open. This is what we told the community. We want the schools to remain, uh, remain open. We will go in a motorcade to the High Court to support the councillors that voted uh, for that had the vote of no confidence in, in Matika. Now, the community said you cannot dictate to us. Uh, we've been keeping this, we're saying we're going to march, we're not going to march. There was a celebration on Thursday saying uh, Matika was, was removed. However, he then came back and said he's not going anywhere. The community had already gone back to peace and the shops had opened, but the dictator has said he's not, he's not going anywhere and the community will, the community will remain uh, um, focused on the fact that it's not about any politics, it's not about anything. I personally feel that it's unfair that the kids have to, have to suffer, but Everyone comes to the community and says, the community is doing this. No one is going to Matika and saying, Matika, you are causing this. Please step aside so that Kimberley can come back to come. I want to comment on uh, this police van that just came past. I, I've seen uh, police vans from as far as Maiking, Kuruman, coming here to Khalishiwe. Uh, just what have you experienced from the police over the last uh, few days? You saying that the, the police action has been quite violent here? Yeah? Uh, it seems as if these police were brought here to protect 
Matika and everyone that's putting him there, that's saying he's not going anywhere. The police are acting in an irrational manner. Uh, they, it's not all the police, but most of the people that were brought in from outside, they're just shooting. They arrive and they, they, they just shoot. Uh, there's, a, there's a case opened against us for holding a meeting. These are party tactics that are being used on, on the community. There's a case opened against the leaders who say that on the 22nd of Ju uh, July, we had a public meeting. On the Sunday, we had a public meeting. And we asked the Hawks, because it's the Hawks that are investigating this, is this a priority case for the Hawks? We've brought so much evidence to you to show that the municipality is corrupt. They've done nothing. But immediately when, when we had that meeting, they called us the Wednesday to say nah, there's an inquiry, there's a, there's a case that was open. We don't understand how this works because we're saying as a community we are against this. The police are coming and they are protecting what we are against. It doesn't make sense. Now my final question to you, what are you as a community representative, as a leader here, what are you doing to take responsibility uh, that, uh, that vehicle on stoned, uh, that the aren't a fire set like that, uh, that uh, government and state buildings, Don't the schools, the the, 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 the the clinics our, aren't set like what, what are you doing to, to prevent that? Uh, we, we were getting messages again on WhatsApp and on Facebook to say that this has burned. Uh, yesterday morning, someone tried to burn the, the library in Khalishi, the, the public library, and the community stopped it with the help of some police and the fire brigade that came. These, these are people, like on the 12th, that were sent into the community to create chaos. We understand why they're doing this. They're burning public facilities so that when it comes the time to fix them, they can loot again. They can say 100 million is needed to fix the library, and then uh, 5 million of that is used to fix the library, and 95 million will be, will be going to their pockets again. And we will stop it as a community. Nothing, no one will destroy our city. We are, we're fighting for our city, and no one will destroy any property that is for the community, or any business for that matter. Because we're not, we're not fighting community, we're not fighting uh, facilities, we're not fighting businesses, we are fighting the municipality that is corrupt. They are trying all tricks, they're saying this is political, they are burning places and blaming it on the community. Who in their right mind, under these circumstances where kids are suffering uh, to, 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 to go to school, would burn the one place that can help them when they go back to school? The, the, these are tactics that are being used and these are party tactics. Do, do you represent any, any uh, civic or political organization or are you here solely on, on the mandate of, of the community? I come as a community member. We, we, we've spoken, we had the meeting uh, with the community and said, because uh, the last time we took this matter to court, uh, the 260 matter to court, the court threw it out not on the basis of the merits, but they threw it out on the basis that there was no legal standing. So as the community, we've decided that we're going to register an NPO, not a political party, because this has been apolitical from the beginning. We're going to register an NPO where community members are able to, to, to have a representation in court. We want to buy electricity straight from ESCOM because this abuse will not stop. We've, we're seeing people's meters are, are moving faster than normal. People are going into the third and fourth block of electricity, which they never used to in the past, which means they're trying to recover the 260 that they wanted to charge the people. Electricity is still expensive. So we, we're registering this NPO. It, it, the, the process had already started. It stopped because the community decided we're not going to do a motorcade. We're going to close down. So we can't stand back and say we're going to work on the paperwork and whatnot. We need to make sure that no one gets hurt, no facility gets hurt. That's why we, 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 we're saying we're going to register this NPO when everything settles down. So we're, going, we're going to register this NPO and go to the households so that we don't get abused by the municipality or any, any uh, entity that wants to abuse the community. We will be able to say, no, take, take this to court, make sure that they don't do this. To Melo Mosikari, he is a community representative here in Kaleshiwe. Over the last uh, several days and last few weeks, there's been growing tensions here, uh, ongoing protests. Still now, we can see some smoke coming over from the, just this region over here. We're going to go see what's happening here. But there is still a very large and strong police uh, presence here over the last uh, a few days. This all over the community is upset uh, that uh, the Saul Plaiki mayor still continues in his job. He's currently in the North uh, Northern Cape High Court trying to overturn uh, that uh, council motion of no confidence in him. They say they're going to be here uh, till he is removed from office. Tolly? Let's keep it coming to us live from Khalishiwe in Kimberley.